the godsend. This is uh, from Canon Films, released January 25th, 1980. This is a horror drama, omen ripoff basically, that came out four years later. <laughs> um, a British ripoff of uh, The Omen basically, starring Malcolm Stoddart and Sid Heyman. Written by Olaf Pooley. Produced and directed by G Gabrielle Beaumont, who also did a few other films like Beastmaster 3, The Eye of Braxis, and He's My Girl. A few things like that. But overall, so, the godsend. Like I said, this is uh, basically an omen, British version of the omen. Pretty big ripoff. Uh, yeah. It's a demon kid movie, what can you expect? Basically, the story goes, it opens up with a family, and they take in this woman who's about to give birth, so she gives birth to this child, and then disappears. And then, so the family takes in her daughter, and the kid, which is a daughter, and raises her as her own. And then, throughout the film, their other five kids tend to disappear and die, under mysterious circumstances. And it basically follows them, and one of the parents sort of thinks, like, okay, there is something wrong with this, and tries to convince the other. But the other one's trying to keep the family together, and try to make it sane as possible. And it keeps them all sane, and do it, but they have to try to figure out how to stop this kid from killing their kids and ruining their family and stuff. Basically just like the omen. Uh, this one does have a few more characters in it. It is a little bit lackluster in <laughs> some of the character, but um, they didn't put much into them. They're a little wooden, I guess you could say. Uh, but overall, it was an interesting little piece to watch. Um, I was actually pretty amused with this. I watched a Screen Factory release of it, so it was actually pretty well rest restored. Um, it's pretty well acted. The story was pretty interesting for the most part. There's a lot of random like zoom in shots to the face, people's faces and stuff, trying to keep you. You got to make sure you you remember that that's the evil kid in there. You have to like remember that. So it kind of spoon speeds you a bit, which is like good for a beginner horror film, I guess. But uh, yeah, overall, it was decent. The pacing it gets a little slow though. And, um, it's pretty good. You can get, you can sort of guess, like, what's gonna happen. It's a little bit predictable. But overall, it's an alright film. I wouldn't give it, like, full, like, it was great. But it was a decent little film. It was enjoyable, to say the least. But I don't really have very many complaints about it besides the pacing. And, uh, yeah, how predictable some of it is. But that depends on how many films you watch. Like, I watched thousands of horror films, so I know a lot of things I find predictable now. But overall, <laughs> it was fairly decent for the most part. Wasn't as shocking as, like, The Omen or anything like that, though, which is a little disappointing. I was hoping there'd be something a little bit new, which there sort of was. You kind of take more of a scientific approach to it, too. And uh, there's a cool little twist at the end and stuff. I probably won't tell you it right now, but... Yeah, it was interesting, and it kind of brought the whole story full circle, so kind of did its job. Entertained me. So, if I was going to rate it, I'd give it, like, a 3 out of 5, because, uh, yeah, it's generic, basic stuff. Nothing super fancy, nothing super, I don't know, didn't go out of the way to do anything completely different or anything like that, so... Go on and check it out if you want. Check out link down below as always. Instagram's link down below as always. I always post clips of films I'm going to review in the future on my story. So make sure you follow me there. Like this video. Share it if you really want to. Comment down below if you've seen this. Do you agree with me? Do you not? Have you even checked it out yet? <laughs> Would you? Uh, yeah. So comment all that stuff down below. Also if you have films that you want to hear my opinions on in the future. Uh, comment down below. Comment those down below too. I'll try my hairs to get some. Make sure you subscribe because, well, 
you probably never heard of half the moves I'm talking about on my channel anyway. So definitely subscribe because you never know what the hell I'm going to be checking out. So yeah, subscribe and yeah, with that, hopefully I don't have, I'll probably have a demon child sooner or later, but not right now, thank God. Um, yeah, but it's time to do another, re I have to, another review to get to, so I'll see you in the next one.